My name is Paul Grützner. I'm head and medical director of the BG Trauma Center. Um, our clinic is located in Ludwigshafen in the southwestern part of Germany. I would like to show you a case we did today with the CS Fusion. It was a patient with an injury uh, of the lumbar spine with uh, fractures of the L2 and L3 bodies. Due to a not very proper alignment, we decided to correct the dorsal instrumentation. We went to a, um, a ventral fusion with an intervertebral body uh, cage. We are using the CS Fusion for a while and did a number of cases with that and I'm always impressed about the image quality of that CR. This is absolutely new and tremendous. We hadn't that image quality before in our theatres. We can see the bony structure very precisely and also the implant positioning and especially the interface between bone and implant is absolutely sharp and very nice to detect. This is a lack in the conventional CRMs and the real step forward to an enhanced image quality. Amazingly, in spite of having a lot of metal inside here, you still see the bony structures very nicely. Even the trabecular structures can be seen here on that image. The um, asymmetric collimation of the uh, CS Fusion gives us a new um, possibility and a new flexibility intraoperatively. You can leave this, the C arm in place and you have the flexibility to decide whether you do it from the lateral or more from the oblique side, the collimation, and this um, is much more easy to handle than the conventional C arm. And uh, gives us the possibility to reduce radiation intraoperatively significantly. You can see an example here where in the case we did today with a, with a, a lumbar fusion and on the left hand side you see the image with a collimation where we reduced the field of view in, in this part where the, where the uh, instrumentation comes in from the dorsal side and uh, that leads to a significant improvement of the imp image quality at this region you are focused on. In the CS Fusion you have the uh, laser targeting device, therefore it doesn't play any role in which position the CRM is at the patient. You always can position the, the CRM by means of the, of the laser cross. In a conventional C-arm you have to move the intensifier very close to the patient to get a broader image. And that means you have a very narrow space between um, the approach to the patient and the image intensifier. With a flat panel you have more space between the approach to the patient and the C-arm, therefore you can uh, much easier position your targeting devices, your instruments and so on. So that's really the difference. On this image you can see very nicely that compared to a conventional image intensifier the field of view is much better and uh, due to the large field of view it's very nice to assess the alignment of the, of the lumbar spine. And that's a very important point. If you do a reduction there, you want to see it online without doing several images. You want to see it in, on one image if you do an instrumentation over uh, three segments. You want to see the dorsal alignment. In the AP view, you can see very nice the alignment and the particle screw placement. And it's, it's tremendous how detailed the bony structures are displayed on that image. It really has the quality of, of a high-resolution standard X-ray and this is new in imaging intraoperatively. The 
it's a good solution to have a rectangular image where you can where you can assess the structures and this is also amazing un until the edges. That's much better than in the conventional CRM imaging. For the team it's very important that an, a CRM is very easy uh, in the handling and it should be very intuitive. To move the whole CRM you have that one-handed steering lever you can move the CM uh, into the different directions and you also can use the brake to, to fix it in place. Another feature to optimize the interruptive process is the position storage device. If you have a projection and you want to refine a projection angle very precisely and fast and straightforward, then you can use the position storage device and the OR technique can exactly see if he has the same projection again. For me a new interesting and uh, very valuable new feature is the touchscreen remote control that the surgeon can use very close to the intervention by himself. So you can drape it sterile and uh, you can post-process the images as you like. You can flip, rotate, you can enhance contrast. That gives you a more detailed information about the images. And you have also a preview image, image of the uh, last image you acquired at the patient. That gives you the opportunity to position the CR more precisely. You don't have to move to the trolley to see the last acquired pictures. The communication between the OR tech and the surgeon therefore is much, much more facilitated. In another case, we did a couple of days before, I would like to show you um, some images of a patient with a uh, shaft fracture of the femur, of the left side of that patient. And uh, this was a very obese patient. I can really state that the power of that device is absolutely sufficient for all trauma and orthopedic procedures you can imagine in the theater, even if patients are obese or even if they have a bad bone quality. From my point of view, it was interesting to see that CEOS Fusion provides us with features that were not available um, in, in I would say in standard CRMs in our orthopedic and trauma theaters. So we have this flat panel technology available maybe in the future for every trauma room and every orthopedic uh, intervention and uh, that brings really an advantage. I really have to admit I've never seen such a good bony structure in an image intraoperatively. The colleagues who are doing trauma surgery, spine surgery, uh, in everyday surgery, they require that CRM. If they can get it, they want to have it. <laughs>